Tonight, I interview a best-selling author with a heart on. We're going to see how this goes. Lead anchor, Stephen Clearwater, interviews Ryan Dickinson, the new author of the new best-selling book, Sup. Over to Stephen. Tonight, I'm here with Jason Big Man. He wrote a book. We're going to talk about it. Yes, I did write a book. What's the name of the book you have? Um, Stop with a question mark. Well, my book, it's... What's it about? It's called Stop. And it's basically um, a science fiction book, but it's also like an infomercial, like the ones you see on TV. In the book? In the book. It's basically my thoughts on everything and anything, and it's also a story. What's the story about? The, the book's called Sup. Thank you. We've covered that. Take some water. Coffee. Okay. I don't drink that stuff. Ever. Got a little on your chin. There you go. Um, it's clear. It doesn't matter. Clear coffee. All right. Um, the book... Why is there a question mark in the title? <coughs> Can we get some help? Why is there a question mark? It I seems like you're asking... I want to tell you why Thank there's a you. question mark. We got this for you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the reason there's a question mark is because... Are you asking the people a question? I'm asking you, what is sup? In my book... Oh, uh, nothing much. What's up with you? Can you not die on my show? That'd be great. Thank you for wiping me down. I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm the host with the most. Um, this. Host this. Most the this. new show, but alright. Um, so basically, book. in my book, it's um, that's what you're here for. 26 chapters long, at least. Maybe more. That looks like 26 pages. Chapters and pages. <laughs> and now, chapter you're you're just splitting hairs right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, basically. <laughs> you got some nice hairs. I'm gonna split in. Like, um, what do you want to know about the book? You're here to tell me about it, and so in the book you s talk a lot about aliens on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> there happens to be water on. Never me. have I written anything about aliens on Mars. You just did because you said it was a sci-fi book, and I read the book. You're reading the wrong day. An book. hour ago. This book. You Dad. had to have read it because it's number one in America and the world, and obviously. The world. So, who did you get to translate your book? <laughs> Different people across the nation. All right. The world, maybe. I'm fucking American, and I wrote this book in American. I <laughs> translate it for the Chinese. It's American, it's not a language. <laughs> Can we? You, camera guy, I need help him.